Good day folks, today in this video I'm going to show you how to mount an external monitor to your Ronin SC. There are many different brackets and mounts to connect an external monitor to a Ronin S or a Ronin SC. This is just my preferred method of doing it. So let's just jump right in and take a look. So in front of me here, I'll show you the equipment we're going to be using in this video. I've got the Ronin SC. I've got a mount by Polar Pro. This is the mount we're going to be using to mount the monitor to the Ronin SC. This mount is compatible with both the Ronin S and the SC. It works well with both. And as for a monitor, I'm going to be using a Feel World monitor. This is kind of a budget monitor. Uh, you can get them for under $200, and for the most part, it works really well. There are better ones on the market, such as the Ninja V, but uh, they do come with a fairly hefty price tag. Now, I just want to point out, though, if you do end up purchasing the Feel World monitor, it does not come with a battery. You do have to purchase that separately. There's a list of compatible batteries that do work with it. Myself, I just ended up purchasing some RAV power batteries for it. With this kit, you get a dual charger, two batteries, and a charging cable. Well, let's just get at it, and we will get this put together. With most external monitors, they do give you a couple different ways to mount it. You can see here we have a quarter 20 at the side. Now, this little mount can be moved to the bottom as well. You can see we have two little screw holes there, so we will have to move that over to the bottom first before we use the Polar Pro mount. So the first thing we're going to do is attach the Polar Pro monitor mount and uh, what we have to do first is remove this mounting plate. So we're going to take the mounting plate and just place it over that accessory port. You can put this on either side, whichever side you feel most comfortable using it on. And like I mentioned, this mount is compatible with both the Ronin S and the Ronin SC. So when we go to attach the arm piece, we can actually have the connector facing down or we can have it facing up. It doesn't really make sense to have the monitor mounted up top there because it's going to be in the way of the gimbal swinging around. So you're best to have it facing down. There's locating pins in there and that allows you to lock it in at different angles depending on how you like it. Now as you can see here, the problem we're going to have with this monitor, like I stated, we can connect it to the side or at the bottom. That means our monitor is going to be upside down, but that's okay because we can switch the screen within the settings. So we just have to move this mount now over to the bottom there. So we've gone ahead and moved the mount to the bottom. So now we're just going to screw it in. So there we go. That's the first part. We've got our monitor mounted. And like I said, it's nice and sturdy and that's uh, fairly lightweight. You're not adding a lot of weight to it. Now an external monitor is not something you're going to maybe want to use all the time, uh, but definitely in some situations it does come in really handy. So right now, as you can see, I've got the Canon M50 mounted in the Ronin SC. We're now going to take the supplied HDMI cable that comes with the Feel World monitor. Uh, you can see there it has a regular HDMI on one end and a micro or mini one on the other end. We're just going to plug it into the HDMI port there. Uh, not quite an easy task to get in there, but uh, it is doable. Then on the monitor, we're going to plug it into the HDMI in. Now at this point, you might want to do a bit of cable management, kind of tie the cable up out of the way. Just make sure you allow enough slack for the gimbal to move freely. So I've got the camera powered on, so now I'm going to power on the external monitor. And just like that, we now have our external monitor attached. Now it's hard to tell because it's just a brick wall that's being displayed there, but it is upside down, so we do need to go in and flip the image. Depending on what monitor you're using, it's all different. On the Feel World one, we're just going to go to Menu. We're going to scroll over to the Tools, and you can see there it says Image Flip and OSD flip. Image flip will flip the image and the OSD will flip all the text and everything as well. There we go, everything is the right way around and working properly. Well folks, that's it for my video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.